confidence is this journey. It's this constant learning and changing and ebbing and flowing. And there's so much about it. And so I don't believe that there is a one size fits all statement about confidence that is going to be true for all of us. The thing that I think that can be true for all of us is that confidence shows up for each of us when we can finally say, I am me. I know exactly who I am. And frankly, I like it. And that thought alone is so freeing because it's not marked by anyone else's interpretation of confidence. It's not marked by anyone else's belief of what we should be or how we should act or how we should perform or what we should do. I was researching about confidence and there is this amazing woman named Evelyn Marinoff and she researches and writes about the psychology behind confidence. And I think it's super interesting. So get this, men's self-esteem tends to move in this upward linear projection. So just kind of picture this. Men are moving upward and it's very linear, while women have more variable trajectories and experience frequent ups and downs in their self-worth levels. How many of you can relate to this, whether you're a man or a woman? I thought this was so, so interesting. And so That makes men more stable in their own self-opinions, while for women, it's truly this blend of nature and nurture that shapes our sense of worth. And the good thing is, like, I honestly see this fact as a win because we all want to make more improvement. We want to mold our own self-opinions. And the thing that is exciting about confidence is that we can improve it right? It's this soft skill that often gets downplayed when you think about when you are applying for a job or when you're telling people what you're good at, we always lean on the hard, the hard skills that we have, whether, you know, it's education or we're proficient in something. And confidence is this soft skill that often flies under the radar, but I believe that confidence can change every facet of our life. And it's good because we can improve it. There are studies that have shown that. And so there are so many different factors that can really influence our confidence level and our unique environments and our histories, specifically our upbringing, where we grew up, our parental care, our quality of education, have this large impact on shaping our levels of confidence. So one other study found that later in life, nature's effect was 40%. And 60% was about nurture. And I think about this a lot as a mother, because I think about how I'm bringing up my daughter and how I want to instill confidence in her and how what I do as a mother, how I instill that confidence is going to attribute for about 40% of what she believes to be true about herself and for herself. But it also gives a lot of hope because there that leaves room for 60% of our confidence levels to be nurtured. I believe that confidence shows up in three different ways in our lives. Confidence shows up in who we are. So my grandmother, I talked to her yesterday on the phone and she is struggling with memory loss, but she still has these very vivid memories from my childhood. And every time I talk to my grandma, she always tells the same story. And I was five years old. I was laying in bed with her and she looked at me and I had my hands like this on my face. And my grandma said, Jenna, what makes you so beautiful? And I looked at her. I didn't even pause. And I said, well, that's just how God made me. And my grandma tells me this story every single time I talk to her and I hear this story over and over again. And it reminds me of that childlike confidence that I had at this young age because I knew who I was and I also knew who created me. And no matter what you believe, I think that there's something so powerful in feeling connected that we were made in some sort of vision. So first, I believe that confidence shows up in who we are. It's that innate and ingrained confidence that we just carry naturally. And those are likely the things that we have had confidence in since we were a child. So the first one is confidence in who we are, but the second one is confidence in what we know. 
So when I became a mother two years ago, I remember leaving the hospital and thinking to myself, I can't believe they're just letting me walk out the doors with this child. Has anyone felt like that? Like, you're like, where is the college degree that tells me I'm equipped to care for another human being? And it's funny because now two years into the game, I find myself feeling like an expert in the experience I've lived and being able to contribute to other people who are experiencing things that I once experienced and had questions on. And so number two is confidence in what we know. And confidence is formed in so many different ways in our life. We are constantly students of life and there is no other community I'd rather be a part of because you guys see how important it is to be a student, to continue growing through life. And I'm right there with you. And so sometimes the lessons are the things that we learn in formal classrooms with the fluorescent lights, but sometimes, and most of the time, the lessons are the things that life has taught us. When we soak in what we consume, we start to grow a level of confidence in what we know. And I want for you to really think about this one because a lot of times we lean on more of the formal education, but I want to think about the things that life has taught you, the lessons that life has shown you, the things that you found yourself researching in forums at three in the morning because you need answers, because you likely know a lot more than you give yourself credit for. And in that knowing, you get to show up with more confidence. Now, number three is confidence in how we can impact. This leans on a statement that I like to say, which is who I am and what I do. Have you ever noticed that a lot of times when people take the stage or they're hosting a community or you land on a website even, a lot of times people will say, this is who I am, this is how I serve, or who I serve, and this is how I serve them. And I think that there's so much confidence in almost having that own mission statement for your life. And so when I look at the people who are out there who are really set on making the biggest impact, it's those who can confidently tell you, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is how I serve the world. The deeper that we understand and feel confidence in our gifts, the greater our impact is. And I love that. So just to reiterate, the three things that I think can influence our confidence and that ways that confidence shows up in our lives are confidence in who we are, confidence in what we know, and confidence in how we can impact. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.